it's been a long time, but Matt Parker Tutorial Services are back. Can I remember this line? There to help students with the coursework, teachers with the boring admin, and you regular people out there who don't want to pay business rates or business expenses, huge amounts, there to help you get systems off the ground without having to pay big software companies. Now today, I thought I'd show you how to calculate the age using the input command in Python. I've been off for a year because well, I had a bit of a cancer scare and it was feared that I would totally wreck my voice. But my voice, although it's not repaired, is much better than it was. So we're starting again. We're going to go from zero to hero in Python and really tidy up the database side of things. Make sure that you can go from zero to a complete shop based system. That's the mission over the next three or four weeks at least. OK, so I put the code on the screen, but I thought I'd take the liberty to explain it. OK. First thing you need to do is import the date time function. Without that, all of this code is just not going to work. Now, I've been on the internet and I've looked how to calculate the age using Python and you get loads of random stuff. Not all of it works and a lot of it is a lot longer than this. This is like the most distilled of mice to do it. I could have done it using a list, but I thought this is the simplest to explain for students. Okay. So first thing, like any Python program, we need to declare our variable. So I've declared a variable year. I've converted it, the input that the user puts in into an integer. Now that's important because the date time function needs those values as integers. OK, once you've got the year, the month and the day from the user converted into an integer, the next thing you do is you hold that and convert it into a date time format in another variable. Now, the age is today's date. Take away the DLB or the date of birth. Then, just to make it easy for people to understand, we're going to print out how many days old you are. Now, with the date time module, if you put in the variable dot days, it will cal convert that calculation into the number of days. Then, and again, this is a bit of a cheat. OK, I've got to convert days into a normal integer. If you try and use age.days in the following calculation, age years, it will throw an error. So we need to convert it to an integer, which we've done, and then we can divide it by 365. Now, there's your Easter egg. Really, it should be maybe 364 and a quarter. And again, I am so right. This is less precise. To print that statement out, we've got to convert age.years, sorry, or age years into a string, and then we can print it out. Again, the days that it works out this, this calculation, extremely accurate. The years is very, very, very accurate. Might need a little bit of tinkering. And that's it. How to calculate age using the input command in Python. Now, many of you will probably want to see that working. So I'm going to show you now. I have it here. Exactly the same. I'm going to run this. And you're going to find out my age. I was born in 1971. I was born on the 7th. Actually, I was born in March, but never mind, it'll still work. I'm going to put a three in there because I'm seventh and third. This is third and the seventh. And it tells me I'm slightly younger than actually what I am. Anyway, I'm 16,692 days old or 45.73. And that's it. Thank you for listening.